Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913, and we are Let's Playing Sukadem 5. In the last episode, we uh, finished off our bit. Well, we found out that Orbo and his uh, crew are, except the girl with the big pearlies, is from the Nether Gate. We got a guy to join our group uh, from the Arms Army, and also we got ourselves a blacksmith, and we got ourselves a gambling lady who. Uh, gambles, really, uh, and, uh, I'm never gonna play that card game, not to sound like a jerk, but, just the way the cookie crumbles, I'll play it to win it, alright, maybe if, uh, maybe if they had Chinch and Ronin, I'd be all up in that, cause I used to love that game, I can make money, I used to be able, in Sukadem 1, Oh man, I used to make money hand over fist against that guy. I think his name was Gunther. I used to tear that guy a new one in the amount of money I used to make. And then when you play Taiho in the second game and make that money, not too shabby, you know what I'm saying? Although it doesn't pay out as much in the second game. I don't know if it was in the third game, I'm, and I think it was in the fourth game. I have no idea if it's in this one. Fourth game had a lot of mini game gambling mini games, by the way. This game so far not as much, but that's all right. You don't always need that gambling. All right, so let's go to bed. My prince. Strong like you. Did she even get her name right? Hey, how the hell did you even... How the hell did you even, uh, write in here? That's a good idea not to mention that. Bring a friend, I like that. Alright, so let's let's go take a nap. About time. Yes I am, I pretty much recruited everyone. I can recruit for the time being. Ah, uh, sleepy time. Can a prince get some rest around here? The southern sky is red. Holy shit! That's where Beaver Lodge is! Prince! Of course they gotta attack the weak and defenseless, those bastard Godwins. They gotta take on the Beavers. It's bullshit, that's all I'm saying. Friggin' take on the defenseless Beavers! Bunch of assholes. So let's head to the war room. Anyone have anything to say about the beavers? Am I going to rescue them? No one's in the war room, really. Shit. Where the hell is everybody? God damn. People wake me up, and then you're telling me to go. All right, let's add some. Let's add some guys there. Let's add Belku. Yeah, I know. Using them again. I know. I know. I know. I'm not using them. Kyle would probably be a pretty good one. Jean. You know what? Let's bring her. Let's show off her magical might. 
Let's show off how awesome she is. I'm using Richard again. He's the shit. You kidding me? So far, he's probably my favorite character in battle. I mean, he kicks so much ass, it's unbelievable. Ugh, let's see. Who else do I want to bring? No oh, Sorensen. You give him his ass. No, 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 no. I can bring two wizards, and they will really rock it. Yeah, let's do it. I'm thinking we're gonna... Whoever's up... These beavers are gonna get saved like no one else. Alright. We're good. Let's actually do... Let's actually check something out. I've been... I've been fairly neglectful to these formations here. And let's just check out... Some shit here. Sorcery. The rear is 20 magic. That's pretty nice. Minus 10 attack, but plus 10 to physical. Boost front line, rear line, long range. True men. That's pretty crazy, that one. The rear gets... Rear, front line... That's pretty goddamn good. I could put Richard in the front and then have the two ladies in the back and really wreck some shit. You know what, let's do Tiger for now. And let's let's uh, put Richard in the front, Belcoot in the front, Gene, you're in the back, baby. There you go. I like that. Let's do it. I don't have any money to warp anyone anywhere. Yes, please. Look, she's tired. She's gonna not warp me there, right? Hopefully, she'll warp me there, right? She's pretty tired. You should. Poor Vicky, she's probably tired as shit. Anyways, welcome. Oh, right, right, right. Take it easy, jeez. In the middle of the night, gotta run over the Beaver Lodge. So I put Richard in the front just due to the fact that he's got some dodge that you wouldn't believe. Or at least parrying. He can parry like a mad bitch. Yeah, look at that. Look at him. He's goddamn amazing. I can't wait to destroy the, whoever's up with this with this uh with this uh group. They're gonna destroy, you know what I'm saying? So when we get in the Beaver Lounge here, there's gonna be a certain group of uh monsters that we can fight where we can collect uh crazed orbs. Jump, yeah, I was about to say, everyone jump in the water. Your beavers. We gotta go rescue the... We gotta go rescue, uh... We gotta go rescue Foo. Hey, look, those assassin guys from the beginning. These guys are a bunch of dicks. Oh, good, nice. I only hit Richard. Oh, Richard's on fire? Not cool. Don't set Richard on fire. Stop that shit. Hey, look, I got the crazed orb right away. It's pretty nice. They're here because they know that... I think they know because the beavers helped us out and the... Godwin's pretty pissed that the beavers helped out and they figured, hell, they can... Yeah. You know, they're the most defenseless. So it's like, let's take out the, these weak bitches. Yeah, uh, let's not talk about this right now. Your whole village is on fire. Now, Maroon should join our group.
Better to stick as a group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sit your ass in the entourage there. Alright, now it's time to go heal Richard. And then, uh... Um... What was I gonna do? Praise Orb. Berserk, two times the damage can't command. You know, that's a shame, because I remember Orb like that in the last game. It was really good. Snow, you remember Snow? He had that Orb? Shit, did he kill people so good. And right, we're gonna take on another one. I'll show this battle. I don't care. Look at, look at him. Try and deny the awesomeness of Richard. Shit. Look at him. Look at him. Did you see what he just did there? Looks like we won. We got another crazed orb. You know what? That might might not be too bad if I got a character who uh, who I know is just gonna attack like physical all day, every day, no problem. And it looks like uh, Dolph is here again. But at least we're gonna be, you know, with this situation, we're gonna get the beavers on our side. needs the beavers. I mean, they don't really show up anywhere else. I mean, these guys are like the kobolds of the game. They always got to mess with the poor guys, huh? sure I can beat your ass this time around. I'm gonna destroy the shit out of you, doll. I'm Dawn Rune this. I'm freaking Falcon Rune. I'm Regular Rune. Lightning Rune. Yeah, this guy's gonna feel the pain of stars and lightning and dawn. Every freaking attack. Supposedly he's got high uh, magical defense, but let's check it out. Eh, it's kind of strong, but still gonna get his ass handed to him. I mean, seriously, one on six? Yeah, look at that. Boom! One round dead. Look at that. That's some jiggle, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know how we're close to stay on. I think magic, that's how we're magic. I am way more powerful than you. Oh, you're talking to her. How about we get out of the burning building? If only we had a, a character with a water room that could just splash the whole thing.
coming from outside the house. Yeah, let's get out of the burning building before we die. From asphyxiation. Yeah, there you go, Lord Lake. Yeah, there you go, look at that, how nice. Let's just get to work on putting these fires out. So there we go. Yeah, luckily, uh, most of you guys lived. That's good. I don't think you guys can deal with laissez fair anymore. I think you gotta join with us. That caused the whole thing. Indeed. I heard that with my own furry ears, the godwins wish to exterminate us beavers. Yeah. It's like trying to get rid of all the kobolds, the nade kobolds, the beavers. We can fight. Yeah, let's fight. Yeah, you know what? Even if you guys aren't strong fighters, we could always use you doing whatever. I don't know. Fucking building shit. Hell yeah, I do. Yeah, that's right. Bring it on. Alright, we don't need these guys joining. Come on. Jesus Christ. Are you guys gonna, some of you guys stay in here, or how's it working? I'd, I'd leave, I'd leave immediately. Yeah, thank goodness they were driven back. Oh, so apparently a core of the group were going there, and the rest are staying here, I guess, or something? Well, whatever. If I go back in, what, are we gonna hear some nice music, or are we done? Nope, we're still gonna hear sad music. Kinda reminds me of, uh, what the hell was it? Uh, when they burned down the dwarf village and I mean, not the dwarf village, when they burned down the elf village and Suko did one. Anyways, here we go. Head to the war room for a scene. Let's do it. Let's do it. Actually, let's just check and see if you got anything new in the paper. Issue four. Complete and total genocide. Isn't that messed up? Yeah, I don't like the fact that Godwin don't consider a demi humans. Yeah, they're usually neutral, but this time they joined. At least they're better than friggin' Jawas, right? Or no? What the hell were those furry guys from Ewoks? Yeah, at least they're better than Ewoks. Dolph might be the son of the leader of the Nethergate. That's pretty nice. 
So I just spent all night, all night, stopping them nether gate guys. in the war room and, and get a character. Well, actually, we can recruit some characters. It still stands. We made breakfast in bed? Oh, rain wall fell. Well, I figured that was probably gonna happen. to itself. Yeah, that's pretty sad. to be, you know, whatever, pretty much screwed for the time being. And now here we have... Rainwall has been occupied? Yes. And so what if it has? That hardly has anything to do with me. Whenever you come to see her, you put the princess in a foul mood, so stop coming here with your bad news. Yes, well, I knew how crazy Yura borrows was about the princess. So I thought she might be interested to know. That's all. You thought wrong. Hmm. To be honest, I'm not at all very fond of him. But he would have been a million times better than you. I don't know. You wound me, your highness. You know, I wish I could tell you what Yoram did to the prince in Sable. To brother? What did Yoram do to my brother? Why don't you ask Yoram yourself? I'm inviting him to your coronation ceremony. Uh, what did you say? Coronation ceremony? You're eventually gonna be the queen yes. here, right? The period of mourning for the late queen is almost over. The time has come for the new queen to be crowned. This is some Game of Thrones we, shit. Your loyal subjects have all been eagerly awaiting. No way! I won't do it! Oh? Yes, that's right. I refuse to be your puppet queen. How upsetting. Everyone is so looking forward to the princess's coronation, but the princess is being difficult. You wouldn't want Miyakis or any of your attendants to experience pain because of your selfishness, now would you? No, you wouldn't dare. Hmm. Or would I? Wow, whipping girl, huh? Y you, you are the most despicable. Princess, we wouldn't care what happened to us as long Don't as you... Don't be ridiculous, Mia Keys. I can't just sit back and let you be killed. I'll just have to go through with it. But princess, it's fine. 
Ever since the day I was born, I was destined to be Queen of Felena. I never thought I'd be under these kind of circumstances. But this is my destiny. Princess. Well, I'm certainly glad to see you've come around. I'll invite ambassadors from the surrounding nations as well. It'll be quite momentous. I assure you. Well, these next surrounding nations should be kind of interesting to see. In fact, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hear some sweet music later. But I'm gonna stop the video here. In the next episode, we're actually gonna go and recruit a couple of folks because we are going to get some characters and then some other stuff anyways uh yeah so this has been kench 1913 i'll see you later bye bye